baseball is universally popular in Japan. The annual high school baseball championship is a summer tradition, followed avidly by millions. A baseball field contains four bases laid out in a diamond shape. Teams of nine players take turns to field and bat. When the batter hits the ball from the pitcher, they run to first base. Running all the way back to home base scores a point. Balls hit into the stands also count as home runs. High school teams from all over the country compete for the prize in this elimination style tournament. These teams are always supported by large contingents of loyal hometown fans. Very impressive, they really did their best. Baseball in Japan dates from 1872. It was introduced by Horace Wilson, an American professor of English at the forerunner to today's University of Tokyo. This tradition lives on at the university, where the baseball club currently has over 100 members. Their manager, Ide Takashi, started playing in the university's club and went on to a career in professional baseball. I think what most appeals to Japanese is the one-on-one -on -one battle between pitcher and batter. This probably comes from our love of martial arts. Traditional budo is generally a contest between two fighters. One-on-one -on -one type martial arts like judo and kendo are still hugely popular in Japan. Baseball arrived here in an era when team sports were unknown, but people were fascinated by the two-person battle at the heart of the sport. I only ever hit one home run as a professional player. I guessed his next one would be a straight ball and I hit it perfectly. The whole game sometimes just boils down to the two of you. Today's baseball is for everyone. Players range from primary schoolers to seniors. And women's baseball is popular too. From those amateur beginnings, Japanese baseball soon turned professional. And today the level is so high, the Japanese players are often snapped up by US major league teams. Murakami Masanori was the first Japanese to play in the major league. In 1964, at the age of 20, he made his debut as a pitcher for the San Francisco Giants. US fans knew him as Mashi Murakami. As I entered the ground the first time, the noise from the crowd was incredible. There were over 40,000 spectators in the stands that day. I was really having a hard time staying calm, but I managed it by humming a song as I walked up to the mound. I was humming Sukiyaki, the big pop hit at the time. After two years in the US, Murakami returned to Japan for the rest of his 20-year baseball career. I always try to guess what the batter is anticipating and then throw something he won't expect. That's what's most fun about this sport, the battle of wits between pitcher and batter. Of all the Japanese players in Major League Baseball, none is more famous than Otani Shohei, who won over US crowds by his respectful attitude as well as his legendary skill. Showing respect for each other and for one's opponents is characteristic of Japanese baseball. African nations wanting to introduce Japanese-style baseball are being helped by Tomonari Shinya. Africans really like our approach of beginning and ending games with a show of respect. Teachers and educators are especially keen, telling me how much they admire Japan's baseball culture. Personally, I believe it can greatly benefit the people of Africa and, indeed, the world. Tomonari's dream is now to help create an African version of the Japanese high school championship. Japanese baseball is becoming a worldwide influence.